Hi everyone, another face mask made by request again. This face mask, the template I'm going to make for you and will upload on the on the description. So this face um, paper I have here for the template, the wide side will be 7 inch and the long side 11 inches. I'm going to fold it in half. It's only a few measurements, super easy everyone. After you fold it in half, you will want to fold it again. Make sure everything meet up nicely. Two fold on the left, big fold in front of you. You have to recognize that so it's easy for you. You never fail. On the top here now, I like you to bring from the corner right here. It's just a quarter up and ends right there. And on the top here in, I like you to bring it in two in and three four. So almost three inch right there. Just like that, and then you're going to connect this line to that line. The one uh a quarter of an inch to this. Just like that. From there. I'm going to finish every time I do from one line, I finish so you don't confuse. From here, I'm going to hold this one point right here to meet this point right here. Just like this, so I can get the middle line perfectly. So now it's right here. I can bring it out a quarter up an inch right there. So now I'm going to. From the top here down, I like you to bring it down two inches. From the two inch, you're going to bring it in a quarter of an inch. From this is two inch, bring it out a quarter of an inch. This little line right there, you're going to connect this little line right here to 2 inch and 3, 4 up there. Right there, just like that everyone. On the side right here, top down, 2 inches. Same thing to this one, the two sides, 2 inch. Now I'm going to draw the line. Two into two inch, just draw the straight line, just like that. Now you have a template. Just like that, everyone. Now you're going to cut it out. To make it easy for you, I'm I'm upload the the template in my description. Remember over here I slide the the pants a little bit because the lotion in my hand. Go straight ahead. So from here, you're gonna cut straight down to a quarter of an inch that we marked earlier from the center in, from the full in, and then from here the two inch the straight line go ahead, go all the way. The fabric I got it from my local fabric store, everyone. So there's no, they don't do online, so I cannot share with you on the uh, description. So now if I want, to, because the the way the writing is like this, I want my my face mask to be like that. To face out the word. I don't want it to go opposite like this way. So I have to, if you want to make sure the word is right here, when you when you wear your face mask, you're going to open the template and then you place it like that. So you know exactly this is your face mask going to be showing the word the right way. So for that, you go on to fold like this. Okay. Sorry. I just want to make sure it's the right track here. 
So I'm going to place it like this, everyone. And I need two of this. So make sure you go on to place it in here. The full fabric. And you go on to cut two of them out. You're gonna make sure you clip it all around. I don't use the pin because the pin will have holes around it. So this is how you do everyone. So after you've done this, you you um you clip it down. You can get the pen or the the marker or whatever you use and go around the line and trace it. Just like this, everyone. Just exactly what I'm doing. Try to hold the paper down gently. And then it just go like this. So take this out. Clip it back. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So cut to everyone. For this type of face mat, it is really hard to ask uh, to make the filter pocket. So I'm, I'm using three layer for this everyone. So I'm cutting to the back and the front in the same fabric here. And the middle layer, the third, the, the, the layer that stay in the middle of these two, it, you can use any color you like. I have red here. So now after I cut this out, in the two end here, I'm going to cut an inch and a half. from the side of the middle layer. I'm making this three layer just for, for safety. So now you can just cut this out. So an inch and half on the side, you can cut this out. This is the easy way when I do the middle layer, everyone. You see when I place the ear fabric, it's going to be like this. So. The middle layer, I'm going to add on top of here, of the main fabric, one of the main fabric. Any, you have two, one for the back and one for the front. My tutorial was so clear, everyone. So now you have this on top, it's like that. Everything light up nicely. You can see the two sides are even, everything perfect. What you need to do, you go on to flip and do this side like this you go on to flip in this side and you go on to sew this in sew this line everyone and then when you're done sewing this side you go on to sew this side in this one right here when you're done with that you go on to do the top one too just sew the line remember fold in like that like the way i show you and sew this in everyone so go ahead and please do so you go going to do this one this one you go going to do by yourself just single layer right here so do the same thing sew this line when you're done go into this side and sew this line same thing to here remember that you have bottom and up. These two things that you need to sew in the two sides. Very easy and it's so comfortable face mat everyone. So go ahead and do that. The reason why I told you to place the one on, the t uh, on top of each other like this one right here because you don't have to do three of them. And now you're going to sew it in. So go ahead everyone. So now you do this one, right? You sew this line all the way. Let me just show you. You sew this line all the way to here. When you're done, you go to this side. And then when you're done, you go on to this side. Flip it, the right side of the face mat here, the right side to the right side, and sew the line, and do all four. So one, two, and then the other two here, three, four. So everyone, you see what I did? I sewed a line here. This is the inside. 
see how it looks and this is the one with the second layer we added together remember you see now so we have the three layer together so after you done sewing you can turn it on the other side and then you go on to press all the line around The layer here, the first one, I'm going to place it like that. The one with the other layer here. I have the fa uh, the fabric here that one inch wide and it five inch long. I'm going to fold the two ends together. Remember, this is for the no bridge pocket, everyone. Now, after I fold the two ends here i'm going to fold it in half so i can get the middle one look at the mess oh my goodness so cute so you want you want to find out what the middle is you can hold this to end of the ear side together like this you can press with your finger now then you know that's the middle but remember this two have to be even and then press here so you have the middle right here you can place this here the nobit remember this is just meat right here this is just meat right here perfect so i'm going to place this in here this is what we do very easy face mat isn't it i asked the nobit right there and now you go on to make sure you clip everything, everything lie up nicely. You go on to sew. You go on, you see the mark that I marked it right here. You go on to leave about an inch and a half or so at the ear side on one ear side only just on one whatever side you pick but you go on to leave about an inch and a half right here so you can inside out a face mat but everything else you go on to sew it in so around here or around or this side you go on to close it go all the way go all the way over here over here and go to this side and stop so this one right here you go on to leave it there we go on to inside out a face mat and then we can seal this after so everyone after i sew the line around the face mat up or around at the ear side here i leave about an inch and a half you can leave an inch if you can inside out whatever you decide to do two inch or three and whatever so now you go on to inside out a face mat go around and do all around the face mat just press the line that you sew go all around it so go ahead and press the line where you just sew all around the face mat the line that you sew because you want to bring all the fabric out it's high behind here you go on to bring it all out remember this face mat the small side you want to make it bigger in my description I would try my best to upload the um, the good templates so you can uh, from there you can just bring it out and make it bigger okay, so I'm going to iron it's a little cloudy outside today everyone the Norbert's pocket is the beautiful thing to have in this kind of face mat the 3d usually with the 3d face mat it's really hard to put the the no piece in there but i try my best to figure that out how to add it in here the line here you're going to fold into the line that you saw here you just fold it in half get the iron iron it down now, so when you're done iron in half you go on to iron the, the other half in like this and now you have a new bridge pocket right here you're gonna go under the fold line right here and sew the no piece in i mean the uh, no bridge pocket right here you go on to slide it up and 
and now you're going to sew all the way to the other end just slide the needle underneath here go all around all the way to the other end Just so you know, you can see my fan, my uh, fingernails is different. I start this yesterday, everyone. And then there's something come up in my house work. I have to catch up and I didn't finish this. Make a loop here and then pull. Make another loop. And you're done. You see how beautiful that is? The lie that you have it here, that's fine. You can just put your finger in there. Put your finger in here and then pull it. And then you go on to press the lie down. It will go down for you. Yeah. You go on to bring it in a quarter up and in. Just fold it in and then you go on to iron it. The other side you go on to do the same thing and you go on to sew the lights in. Same thing that when you sew with the no piece pocket, you use the same stitching. You sew the same way for the no piece. So high, go under here. You're going to hide a knot underneath. And now you're going to slide this needle up and down, up and down. Go all the way to the other end. You can put the the uh, pantyhose in here when you... I'm using the pantyhose for the, ears, the ear loop, everyone. If you haven't tried it, please do so. It's so comfortable. So make sure you do the other ear side too. Make a loop right here, pull. Make the loop right here and pull. You're done. Beautiful. And I'm going to get the panty holes that I have here. You can go to a dollar store. If you live near the dollar store, you can go there and they have pantyhose all different color. Oh, I see black and, uh, and uh, nude color. So if you can see white or whatever color you refer, go get it. So now I'm going to just, you cut about an inch on in and half and then you're going to yank it out like that. So cut it smaller, you can cut just one and then you go on to stretch it out and then you go on to cut it into two. The ear pocket right here and then you go on to tie the ends. I'm gonna tie the ends here. When you are there, you make it for yourself. You have to make sure if it fit you, just tie a little bit. Don't tie it too tight and then you try it on to see if it work on you your uh, for you or not and if yeah it's good then you can just tie it really tight and then you move the the knot inside a pocket so you can hold you can hide it in there and now that's it you go on to do the other ear side here and then i'll show you how to put the uh the foil in here look at this no bridge pocket right there and i'm going to show you this um, bacon foil I have here that the wide side is six inches and the long side can be eight. So I'm gonna fold it in half or whatever. I fold this, you see, and then go on to fold again. This way, because we're not going to wear the face mat for a whole lifetime. 
so you can just save money by making this no piece by yourself and anything you have around the house you can do it here now you go into here the pocket you go on to put this no piece in here with the baking foil that you have and from here in the middle right here you go on to bend it now see do you have to know no wire in there without spending a lot of money and it worked perfect look at the valentine face mat everyone the no bridge pocket is in here and it's 3d it's so beautiful valentine's and remember if you want to make it bigger in my in my uh, template look, look it's all the way to the ear in my template you have to um trace around it bring it out from the paper cut it and then go from the outer line bring it out half an inch on end to depend on how you like um how how you want your face map to fit you look at this this is size this is fit me so it fit most of you unless you have like um you know somebody some people have a wider wider face you can bring it out the light here about half an inch in my description bring out a template and go out the the, the side beautiful face map everyone thank you so much for watching and please continue to support my channel by watching the ad if you like the video please share with your friend your family member that looking for a face mat idea thank you so much everyone and um thank you for watching the ad and some of you have played my playlist that that is the huge support right there thank you so much stay safe and take care